Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Warrior Ritual VR1 Pro Plus Goalie Stick. Um, so, a bit of background on the Ritual line, or, or at least this one. They have a, so they have a Senior, they have a Senior Plus, they have a V1 Pro, and then they have the Pro Plus. The Pro has Minimus 1000 G, or Carbon G fiber, which is similar to the Ritual CR1 of the last generation. The Pro Plus has the 1200 somewhere labeled somewhere. Um, anyways, it has Minimus Carbon 1200 G, I think it is, um, which makes it lighter. Um, there it is, G1200, anyways. So I liked the Ritual CR1 stick, um, but I had blade durability issues. It broke on me pretty quickly. Um, it's like I it's a like my eighth string stick right now. There's a big crack in it So I only use it for very rare occasions um, This one I have had no issues with I got it when it came out um, And I've been using it with an eflex 4 basically back and forth um, And I'm a pretty big fan of it. So this stick is crazy light So a 27 inch of this stick is either the same weight or lighter than the 2s pro but sorry the 27.5 of this stick, but 27.5 of this stick is equal to a 26 CCM and Bauer. So the weight is a little bit skewed. Um, and this is a 300, like this is the full price stick. So I think $329 Canadian or something like that. It's up there with the 2S Pro. Um, so it's it's super light, but it's a little bit misleading in that sense. So just be wary, weary of that. You can't just go from Bauer to CCM, sorry, from Bauer and CCM to Warrior sizing because this is 27.5 and it lines right out with my 26s. Um, okay, so with that said, this is my favorite grip stick there is. I don't like grip goalie sticks. I often have to sand them down because they get stuck in my blocker. I love what Warrior has done with these sticks in terms of the grip. So they have this like textured paint right here, um, which is, it's grippy, but it's not super grippy. I have no problems with my sticks getting cut or stuck, stuck on there. And then they have an interesting groove down here, which kind of gives you a bit more feel when your hands are moving. I love it. I have no issues playing with like a uh, poke checking with this stick and everything. Everything's great and don't have to sand anything down. I think it's grippy enough for people to actually like enjoy it as well. If you really like those grippy sticks, it's just not over the top like the others. Huge fan of this. Huge props to Warrior for that. Thank you for making me not modify, have to modify your stick. So big difference between this stick and the old one. I mentioned the carbon fiber on there. So you can see that in the weave. So hopefully this comes up on camera pretty good. The weave on the old CR1 is much smaller when the new one is much wider. So the weave is, there's much more weaves in it and this one's much stretched out. That allows you to use less material, which helps get the weight down. Um, and this stick does feel very lightweight in that sense. I want, the balance on this feels really good. I've batted pucks out of the air with this stick more than any other stick I've used. Um, like there's one play I did where I did like three times in one play, puck came out, batted it behind, came out again, batted it behind, and then batted it somewhere else. So it's kind of interesting in that sense. Um, I've had no issues with durability at all. People have always said Warriors durability is really good. I didn't have, I, the blade on the CR1 broke too fast. This one is fine so far, no issues using it, pretty high level constantly and it still feels great. Um, rebounds on this are pretty pingy, especially compared to the Eflex 4 that I'm kind of comparing it against. Um, I don't have issues with vibrations, but you definitely feel the pucks like bounce off it more compared to the Eflex, which is designed to be a bit softer. Um, I don't have, again, I don't have problems with that. I like it. Rebounds are pretty hot off of it. Again, I like, but it's really easy to push pucks in the corner with the blade. Um, one thing I wanna, so, I have a harder time shooting with this stick than I do 2S Pro and the Eflex 4. One, I find the Eflex 4 low kick, like it's a soft flex. I find it flexes really well down here and it kind of helps launch pucks. Where this one, I feel like it's not that the blade's thick, but there's something about how this stick plays for me where I don't shoot. I can't raise the puck as easy as I can on a 2S Pro. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It just feels like the blades is almost a little thicker and it just doesn't work quite as well for me. If you can shoot the puck, I'm prob you're probably not gonna have any issues with it. It's not like I'm awful with this, it's just I'm not as good as I am with other ones, which doesn't mean a lot because I'm not that good in general. Um, but yes, that's about, I think that's about it for the stick. I'm a fan of it. I recommend it. It's really expensive. 
Um, it's not quite as expensive as Bauer, but I think the durability might be better than with the spine on the Bauer. Um, still a very solid stick. I love the grip on it, don't have to modify it, so that's always a bonus for me. I definitely recommend people check them out. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, helps me get gear like this so I can uh, do more, make more content and do reviews on. Uh, remember, if you do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, reach out to the manufacturer, let them know on social media, helps me get on the radar so I can get more gear like this to make more content because um, this stuff is all really expensive. Thank you very much again for watching and take it easy.